Hola, hi, this is Al, your statistics instructor. Let's get to work. In this video, we will talk about two useful properties of H, the hat matrix. Let's begin. So, uh, as you already know, I think I mentioned this in another video, uh, H uh, plays a very important role in regression analysis. Uh, what we will show in this video is that H is symmetric and also that has another special property that H times H equals H. Well, this property is called idempotency. Okay? So, let's uh, show the second property first. Let's show that H is idempotent. Okay? So, idempotency. We want to show that H times H equals H. Okay, proof. First, uh, recall that H is defined as X, where X is the design matrix, so X times X transpose X inverse times X transpose, okay? So, recall that H is defined as X, the design matrix, times X transpose, ah, let me use capital T, okay, X transpose X inverse times X transpose. Okay. So now let's just uh, compute that product H times H. So it would be that guy let me use square brackets okay times H again in terms of the design matrix X okay okay now note that that happens to be just this right Okay, if you, you know, remove those uh, square brackets, we can see that what we have here in the middle, right, is X transpose X times X transpose X inverse. So, uh, that product that we have in the middle is going to give you an identity matrix, okay? And remember, the identity matrix is just a diagonal matrix uh, with uh, ones on the uh, diagonal, right, and zeros elsewhere. Okay, so now what we have here is this guy here, x times x transpose x inverse, and then instead of that product in the middle, we are going to have just an identity matrix and X transpose. Okay? Now, the identity matrix times X transpose is going to give you just X transpose. Okay? But that happens to be 
you know, the way we defined h in the first place. So we have shown that h times h equals h, right? So we're done. h is idempotent. Okay. Great. Now, the other property that we mentioned is that h is symmetric, right? So those are the two properties that we're interested in today, idempotency and symmetry. But before we show symmetry, uh, let me write down a few definitions from linear algebra that are going to be useful. And it's just a quick refresher of uh, things that I'm sure you have seen before, but yeah, just to be uh, clear. Okay, so definition. So first, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to remind you about uh, how uh, the uh, inverse of a matrix is defined. Okay, so an uh, n by n n by n matrix A is said to be non-singular or invertible if there exists a matrix B such that A, B or B, A equals the identity matrix. Okay? Uh, so the uh, matrix B is said to be a multiplicative inverse of A, or just the inverse of A, okay? So that's one of the definitions I wanted you to have uh, fresh in your mind before we show that uh, H, the hat matrix, is symmetric, okay? So the other definition uh, it, well, has to do with uh, the transpose of a matrix. Okay, so as you have seen, right? Sometimes it's useful to talk about a matrix uh, that is formed uh, from an old matrix, and uh, well, it's formed in the following way that. Uh, the new matrix has as its uh, columns the rows of the original matrix. Okay? So anyway, let me define the transpose. Okay, so definition, definition, um, the transpose of an M by N matrix uh, A is the uh, N by M because the uh, dimensions will change, right? Matrix B uh, defined by, and what we're going to be doing here is defining it by its elements, okay? Here we go. Uh, so what we're going to be doing here is saying that the element located at the jth row and ith column equals the uh, element uh, located at the ith row and jth column of the original matrix A. Make sense? And we are going to be doing this 
for uh, we're going to be doing it this for j that goes from 1 up to n okay j goes from 1 up to n and uh, for i that goes from 1 up to m right okay there we are and you guys know that the transpose of a is denoted by a transpose right but let's write it down the transpose of a is denoted by a transpose okay sometimes it's also denoted by a prime okay okay anyway another definition that I want you to uh, remember that it, we're going to be uh, needing definition um, that an n by n matrix A is said to be symmetric if a transpose if a transpose equals a okay okay so those are the definitions that I want you to have handy because we will need them uh, because that's what we want to show this is the property that we want to show about H that H transpose equals H now let me remind you about some useful properties related to the transpose of a matrix so algebraic rules for transpose algebraic uh, rules for uh, transposes yeah okay so rule number one um, going to need uh, brackets here uh, a transpose transpose happens to be equal to a property number two that we're going to be using here uh, now instead of uh, having a transpose there what we're going to have is alpha where alpha is a constant okay so alpha times a transpose is just going to be alpha that constant times a transpose uh, property number three uh, if we have say a plus b if we have the uh, sum of two matrices and we find the transpose we're interested in finding the transpose of that sum uh, well this is the same as a transpose plus b transpose okay number four uh, now if instead of uh, the uh, sum of two matrices we have the product of two matrices and we want to find the transpose of that product well a b 
the whole thing transpose happens to be the same as B transpose times A transpose. Okay? Okay. So we're almost almost ready to show that H is symmetric. Let's show the following result. Okay? Uh, let's show the following result. Here we go. Result. Uh, prove that if A is non-singular, then A transpose is non-singular, is non-singular, and that, guess what? That A transpose inverse is given by A inverse. transpose. Interesting, right? So if we want A transpose inverse, then the inverse and the transpose, they switch places. Can you see that? So that's what we want to show. Let's show that. proof. So first, remember that by definition, right, let me go back to the definition, what we want here, I mean if we're talking about um, we're talking about the inverse of A transpose, right? So by definition, what we want is a matrix B such that B times A transpose gives you the identity. Make sense? Let me just go back to the definition really quickly. Right? So instead of A, we want the inverse of A transpose. So what we want is a matrix B such that, for instance, B times A transpose gives you the identity. Okay? And what we are told here is that uh, this guy should work, right? So let's see, I mean by definition let's just give it a shot, let's see if this guy works, let's find that product. Let's see what we end up with when we do this times A transpose, that's our guy, right? times A transpose. If by any chance we end up with uh, the identity, then that means that this guy here, let's call it matrix B, happens to be the inverse of A transpose. Okay? So, uh, first, note that this is some matrix, let me call it matrix D, D transpose times A transpose. But we have by uh, property number four that if you have a matrix transpose times, and I'm calling it in this case, this guy, I'm saying that it's a D transpose times A transpose, right? So if we have D transpose times A transpose, that must be the same as A times D, the whole thing transpose. Okay? So by property 4, what we have is that guy, just A, times A minus 1, A inverse. 
the whole thing transpose right and this is by property number four right this guy here b transpose times a transpose equals a b the whole thing transpose okay now next step we know that a is non-singular by assumption right which means that uh, the inverse of a a inverse exists so a times a inverse is going to be the identity matrix right so what we have here is this by assumption a inverse exists exists Now, what's the transpose of the identity matrix? The identity matrix is just a diagonal matrix, right? Uh, with a bunch of ones, you know, as the elements that form the uh, diagonal in zeros elsewhere. Anyway, the point is that it's a diagonal matrix, and the uh, transpose of a diagonal matrix is itself. So that's it since what we have is that a minus 1 transpose times a transpose equals the identity well by definition this guy must be a transpose inverse right so we're done okay nice okay so now finally we're ready let's show that H is symmetric let's show the uh, symmetry of uh, H okay uh, here we go so we know that if we want to show that something is symmetric what we have to show is that its transpose equals the original matrix okay okay so let's try and find H transpose H transpose so let me borrow the definition of H from up here right when we showed that it was idempotent we had the definition of H let me borrow that guy excellent and we want the transpose okay now think about this here that chunk here x times x transpose x inverse as a matrix right and let's think about this guy as a separate matrix so we have a product of these two uh, matrices right okay so first uh, since we have something times x transpose transpose so we have the product of two we're thinking about this as a product of two matrices so we have uh, the product of two matrices then transpose it's going to be this guy right uh, transpose times this guy transpose make sense by this property here right property number four so here we go so this would be the same as let me yeah let me write it down like this x 
transpose um, transpose times this transpose you guys agree yeah okay so here we go You guys agree? Okay. But now, x transpose transpose, and this is just let me just say that it's by property number four, right? Okay. Now x transpose transpose. That's just x, right? So let's write it down there. Okay. Now, we have, again, the product of two matrices, transpose. So it's going to be this guy, transpose, times x, transpose. And again, we're going to be using uh, property number four. But this one here is just by property uh, number one. Okay, so let me just say that here. property number one okay now again we are going to use uh, property number four so it's going to be this guy here uh, let me copy and paste it and then I'm going to get rid of the first term it's going to be this guy transpose times x transpose you agree and that again is thanks to property number four okay now This is where that result we just showed is going to be very useful. So we have something that looks like this. Some matrix, transpose, inverse. And that happens to be the same as A inverse, transpose, right? So these guys, the transpose and the inverse will switch places okay so let's see now these two guys will switch places we will have a transpose inside and an inverse outside that square bracket so let me change this guy this is transpose this is inverse Right, and this is by our result. Uh, by our result. Okay. So again, x transpose x transpose is going to be the same as x transpose times x transpose transpose. Well, that's going to be just you know x transpose x right so here we go this is going to be just x transpose times x transpose transpose right just to be super clear and 
and again this is by property four and finally this is by property one x transpose uh, transpose is just x right by property one remember properties of transposes right so let me just say that it's by property one by property one but note that what we have here x times x transpose x inverse times x transpose happens to be h so we have shown that h transpose equals h so we have shown that h is symmetric uh, therefore Therefore, H is uh, symmetric. Good. Okay. Now, uh, there's another matrix that will be very useful in regression analysis, which is closely related to the matrix H. And that matrix is the identity minus H. Okay? So, let me just mention that it turns out that the matrix uh, I, as in the identity, minus H, is also symmetric and idempotent. So it turns out that the matrix I minus H is also symmetric and idempotent. And that is not going to be hard to show. Let's let's do it. Okay. Here we go. We have the identity minus H. Let's show first the uh, symmetry. Okay. So let's see what happens when we find the transpose of uh, I minus H. So, we have a sum of matrices and we are trying to find the transpose of that sum. So, let's go back and refer to the properties of transposes. That's property number three. If you have the sum of two matrices and you want the transpose of that sum, it's just, hey, transpose of uh, your first matrix plus uh, transpose of the second matrix. So, let's use that property. This would be just uh, the identity transpose minus H transpose. And note that we have a negative one here. So what we're doing there is using this here that you factor out that constant, that negative one okay so by properties uh, 2 and 3 we get to do what we did there right okay uh, by properties uh, we said 3 and 2 yeah 2 and 3 okay now, uh, we know that uh, the identity is a diagonal matrix, so transpose it's, uh, itself, right? And we have shown that H is symmetric, right? So H transpose equals H. So we're done. We have shown that 1 minus H transpose equals 1 minus H. So this guy is symmetric. Okay. Therefore, this guy 
i minus h is symmetric. Let's see if we can show that uh, i minus h is idempotent. So we would have i minus h times i minus h, right? We know that that would be the identity times the identity and the identity times minus h, that's going to be just i minus h, right? Then we would have minus h times the identity, that's going to be minus h, and uh, minus times minus uh, h times h. So minus times minus, that's a plus, h times h, right? Okay, there we are. But guess what? h times h equals h. We have shown that h is idempotent. So let me just copy paste this. And this guy here, it's just a plus h. And just say that um, we showed that h times h equals h h is idempotent. Now, minus h plus h, that's 0. So 1 minus h, that's what we have here. So we have shown that uh, i minus h times i minus h equals i minus h. So uh, i minus h is idempotent. Uh, let me just say that we we have shown that i minus h is idempotent. Okay. Okay, so let's summarize what we did in this video. So we showed two very impor important properties for the hat matrix, for the uh, matrix H. That H is symmetric, meaning H transpose equals H, and that H is idempotent, meaning H times H equals H. And we showed uh, the same properties for the matrix i minus h, which is also going to be very important in regression analysis, as we will see in the near future. Okay? Okay. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care and keep working hard. See you next time. Bye!